Thank you. We now go outside the Vista Theater to the press conference held in regard to the Make It in Michigan tour that Governor Whitmore is leading. The press conference held in downtown Nagani started out with a walking tour to showcase all the changes happening and will be happening. We heard from Nagani City Manager Nate Heffron and Representative Jen Hill before Governor Whitmer spoke. So today we're here in Nagani to see how Make It Michigan is having a real impact. Through revitalization and placemaking or the RAP grant program, we are funding infrastructure and placemaking upgrades here in downtown. We're also replacing the roof of the historic Vista Theater that opened in 1920. My notes say six, but the wall says 25. So I'm going with the wall. <laughs> I then got to catch up with Governor Whitmer personally to ask more questions regarding Michigander's concerns. We're focused on people, places, and projects, right? Winning projects so we've got good paying jobs. That's why the Billaroo um, undertaking was so important that we continue to have this em great employer here in the Upper Peninsula. Placemaking like the Vista Theater and downtown Nagani making it a um, a community that is thriving and people investing in our people making sure that we shore up fundamental rights and close our skills gap and create opportunities so when we stay focused on those things we won't get distracted by other phony issues we'll focus on what really matters and that's why that's been our North Star. We were just chatting about you know this was built in 1925 wouldn't it be great if we can get it done by 2025 and celebrate the 100th birthday and also see the new the next chapter in what the Vista's got. As a lifelong Michigander and the mother of two younger Michiganders I know that the best part of our legacy as a state is that this was a place where no matter who you were, you could get into the path to prosperity. Whether it's through the trades or it is through a degree or other type of certificate, there's a path to prosperity for every person. So we know that food insecurity is a real issue for a lot of families and children in Michigan. We also know that when a child is hungry, it's hard to focus on the lesson plan, much less anything else. It's uh, something that we can, as a society, address. This change makes Michigan, I don't know, one of a handful of states that offers free breakfast and lunch to all students. It'll save families the average of $850 a year per student in their household. I then spoke to Representative Jen Hill to find out her thoughts on having Governor Whitmer here personally to see all the changes undergoing in Nagani. It's really exciting um, and it just shows the, um, the commitment that the Whitmer administration has to the Upper Peninsula. There is no doubt that uh, Governor Whitmer really understands the, um, that we're all Michiganders, including the 300,000 of us up in the UP. She never forgets about us and was really, I'm really excited to show her the progress that we're making here in Nagani. 